All right, so we ran out of the COVID-19 bandanas. I had, I had ordered 25 of them. I was gonna print the uh, Bless the Barrio logo and you know we ended up doing the COVID-19. They sold out. Thank you guys for ordering them. Sometimes they order 10 at a time. Sometimes there was three at a time. Other times there was just one. The 10 at a time was just one time. We only had 20. <clears throat> but uh, a while back for 4th of July, and also they had like a huge Mexican game here in the uh, Phoenix Stadium. So I had ordered a bunch of Mexican flags, bandanas, and uh, American flag bandanas. Obviously, I'm wearing the Mexican one. I do also wear the American flag because I like it a lot. And um, I have some for sale. So I put them up on my Instagram. Uh, I don't think I'm going to ship these out, but I'm just letting you guys know what's going on. Last time I printed one COVID-19, which was the first one that I printed for myself. My dad saw me with it, and he was like, where's mine? So there went that one. Yesterday, I went and printed myself a second one, and then my mother-in-law was like, was like, where's mine? So there went my second one. The third one and the last one that I was gonna keep for myself is here at the shop, but it already sold. So there are no more of those. And I really do not see myself printing that logo on this flag, that flag, or any flag for that matter. So I'm sorry, but those are gonna be sold as blinks with the uh, uh, flag print on them. And that's gonna be that. Hmm. So today is kind of like a, a short day here at the shop. We got here at 10 o'clock, kind of late. The reason why is because we are obviously slow on work. And we are slow, but we haven't stopped. Now, uh, the topic was kind of, are we essentials or not as screen printers? I, I guess it depends. You know, if you're printing from the back of your house and you're just printing for clothing brands, kind of like how I started, and uh, you know, it's cool. You're doing it as a hobby. You're doing it as a, uh, uh, a hustle, you know, aside from your, your uh, nine to five, then you may not be considered an essential. But here we have a, an established business. We come in, we do work for other uh, businesses that are open, that are trying to stay open, like uh, restaurants that are trying to stay open here locally, and they need either banners that we can provide. We can also provide A signs, we, which we have provided. I have a retractable banner in the truck that I have to go drop off uh, in a couple of hours. So these businesses are trying to create awareness and they're trying to advertise to the public to let them know that they're doing curbside pickups and they're doing delivery. So for that reason, I do consider myself an essential and other businesses that are obviously operating at a professional level. So if the uh, statewide emergency alert goes out in Arizona and they say that we have to stay indoors unless you're an essential, then that's going to be my excuse. Hopefully the cops don't uh, think otherwise of it because I still need to provide for my family and that is definitely a way that has been happening for the past two years since I went on my own and this is kind of like the major part of the income that I bring into this family so let's hope that that doesn't happen. Uh, other sources of income that I have are very minimal like the Amazon affiliates and the YouTube um, AdSense that I, money that I get, which is very minimal. It comes in like over a hundred bucks every two months. There's every once in a blue moon that I make over a hundred in one month. So I get that check. Uh, last year, I believe I made like 1200 bucks in the whole year. So that tells you that I don't get paid every month. And even then with that a small amount of money, I cannot afford to keep the doors open here and provide for my family. So. Uh, hopefully it doesn't turn out for the worst in my case. Uh, although I do feel for a lot of the people that have been getting let go from work and that are no longer getting their regular paycheck. But, you know, uh, it's very unfortunate. And I don't, I don't think there's anything that I could do that's in my power to help the massives of people out there. But it, it is in my hands to help out the most that I can. And yesterday we were talking about printing some bandanas for the hospital because we know that the uh, staff in the hospital are kind of hurting right now with the surgical masks. They're kind of running out or they're limited to the amount of masks that they can use throughout the day. So therefore, 
uh, because you know I have access to buying wholesale. I was gonna print my logo off the, the uh, COVID-19. I was gonna print my logo on like 50 bandanas and go donate them to the children's hospital. But uh, I checked this morning and they were completely sold out. They don't have any more, so therefore I cannot do that. But I do have one more local spot that's like two blocks away from here. <coughs> as soon as I'm done with the uh, Sasu graphics order, I'm gonna go check on them to see if they have some bandanas. If they just have the uh, American flag print on them, I'm gonna grab a couple dozens and then go drop off the shirts at Sazu and then drive my butt to the uh, children's hospital to donate those bandanas and then go drop off those banners, go pick up the shirts in McCurry's and Tempe and then drive to Avondale to pick up the rest of the orders so that we can keep the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? So. I may not be able to do a whole lot, you know, I, I still have work that's coming in. It's very minimal, but it's still enough for me to stay busy, thankfully. We have been uh, sending out small invoices that are getting paid every day still. Um, cross my fingers so that we can keep that up. I want to thank you guys for your response, for your comments. You know, yesterday's video I think was uh, important for those who have been tried to get scammed and and it's good awareness so that you guys can open your eyes to those uh, type of people that are trying to steal from, you know, honest and hardworking people like us who are trying to keep our doors open to the public. So that is that. I want to uh, thank you guys also for liking the videos. I, you know, for those who dislike them too, I appreciate it. It's feedback. It lets me know that you guys are watching, that you guys are not liking certain content. Obviously, I cannot please the entire planet. Uh, I can't even please, please my city, so uh, there goes a little bit of feedback that I am thankful for. Not everything uh, has to be a thumbs up. You know, if you disagree, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. It's there for a reason. It lets us know. It gives us feedback on what you guys are not uh, liking or listening or watching. And um, uh, for the subscriptions, you know, I want to thank you guys for uh, looking at the description because there on every video I have been posting that if you are trying to inquire a, uh, a, if you guys are trying to get an order placed through me, you know, you guys can go to the website and submit a, uh, a small email with the information so that I can provide a quote. And those have been coming like, they, they've been coming in like every other day uh, from multiple places. So very thankful for that. And I'm glad that it's working because we are paying for that service. And you know, if it's not working, then why have it? But you guys are, putting in your comments, you guys are asking questions, and you guys are asking for quotes. So very thankful for that. And we're gonna go ahead and get to work because we don't have a lot of time, and we do have a little bit of work, but it needs to get done. So let's get to work, let's set up some jobs, let's get them printed, and let's go drive around the city like maniacs.